so you guys were asking for the full review of the android one firmware on the redmi note 5 and here it is finally in this video i'll be answering all of your questions and we'll be taking in depth look of the android one firmware on the redmi note 5 so yeah if you don't know this is the standard redmi note 5 it is not a new smartphone but i have installed the android one firmware which is ported from the mi a1 and i have installed it on the redmi note 5 and this device is also called the redmi 5 plus in china so don't get confused so first off the fingerprint sensor is just working perfectly as you can see The fingerprint sensor is working absolutely fine there is no bug so let's take a look at all the applications you will get along with the android one redmi note 5 firmware first off we have the dialer and it's the stock google pixel like dialer next we have the messenger application and you will get all the google applications pre-installed so there is no need to install the google applications externally we have the gmail we have the chrome and we also have the play store google photos and there are few of the google applications that you will get along google youtube maps calendar drive duo play music play games play movies and play books so yeah really great taking a look at the other applications we have the calculator and the camera is not working we will talk about it later on but yeah we have the clock contacts downloads and feedback application is from xiaomi and rest are the same google applications at last we have the settings i really like the look of stock settings it's far better than the miui settings it's easy to use and you can also search any settings from there so yeah we also have the mi services options right there it's original mi a1 ported firmware so you will get all the options and all the features of the mi a1 into the redmi note 5 which is something really great guys the phone runs on android 7.1.2 nougat which is not so latest operating system but yeah we have the nougat operating system right here and the model number it shows is the redmi 5 plus even if you install it on the redmi note 5 the model number will be the redmi 5 plus only so don't get confused both are one of the same things and we have the build number n2g47h so it's the new good build number the mi a1 has already got android oreo but this firmware is based on android nougat maybe in future you guys will get android oreo but as of now this is android nougat and the system updates won't come to this device there will be no OTA updates on this device I have already checked for update as you can see it will only show your system is up to date so don't think you will get all the security patches and the latest update after installing this custom room the check for update section won't work at all however you will be able to manually install more updates on this smartphone if the developer provides ota file externally or maybe android oreo firmware port in future so you will be able to update this device by flashing the zip files via twrp recovery but as of now the ota settings or the system update settings won't work at all so this is it now talking about the camera the camera is not working guys i have already tested more than two camera applications we have the back on camera and i have also tested the pixel to xl camera which is also not working as you can see it just shows the black screen here and the back on camera is also not working the camera has been stopped so see it's showing error in camera and I've also tested the open camera application it's not working at all and the only reason is the Mi A1 has dual sensors while the Redmi Note 5 has a single sensor so yeah that's why the camera application is not working the developer said that he's working on a fix and he will fix the camera application in another update so yes yeah, stay tuned for this as of now the camera application is not working at all and another bug I notice is that the brightness will go to 100% if not zero the brightness will automatically go to 100% so this is the 100% brightness you can either choose zero or you can choose the 100 that's all this is the brightness issue and maybe it will get fixed in the next update of this custom room so let's do the brightness zero as of now and few of you guys were asking for the benchmarks here are they and this is it 
74,110 which is really a great score guys the ranking is not visible because they have this stay tuned thing here so the ranking is not visible but this score is really great guys really great the device code name is Vinci and the board is Snapdragon 625 Android version is 7.1.2 which is a 64 bit operating system which is really a great thing guys Another thing I want to show you guys that you can actually install the Pixel 2 launcher which is really working great as you can see we have the bottom Google search bar just like the Pixel 2 XL and you can make your smartphone feel like the Pixel 2 XL by installing this. So yeah, it's working great. Another thing I wanted to show you is the YouTube application. Just update your YouTube application after installing the Mi A1 firmware and you will get the full screen feature. So as you can see right now we are having these black borders on the corners and all you have to do is just pinch out and there it is. Zoom to fill in and just pinch in to make it original so it's working great so time for answering few of your questions you guys were asking if this firmware will work on the redmi note 5 pro or not the answer is right now there is no ported firmware available for the redmi note 5 pro but in future yes you will get this android one firmware ported to the redmi note 5 pro See, I will get the Redmi Note 5 Pro in a few days and as soon as the developers port the Android 1 firmware to the Redmi Note 5 Pro, I will be making video for you guys showing the Android 1 firmware on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So yeah, you can count on me, I will deliver this video as soon as possible once the firmware is out. And you guys were asking about the battery, the battery is working absolutely fine guys, there is no issue at all in this custom room. And moreover the stock android is far better than the MIUI in terms of performance and battery life. Yeah it's working great and as of performance it's working just fluid guys, there is no issue at all. Apart from that camera issue and the brightness bug there is no issue at all on this custom room. All you need is the Mi A1 ported firmware, you can download it from the MIUI forum, all the links are in the below description box. And yeah, you will need an unlocked Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi 5 Plus. You can apply to unlock the bootloader on Xiaomi's own website. As I said in my previous video, it took almost a month for my Redmi Note 5 to get unlocked. Yeah, that's the case with me. I think you guys will get it unlocked in maybe 4 days or maybe 10 days, depends on Xiaomi. So yeah, all you need is unlock bootloader and install TWRP recovery and install the firmware to get the Android 1 custom ROM on your Redmi Note 5. So this is it guys, finally an Android 1 smartphone with 18 inch to 9 full screen display and a huge shout out to their developer for making the Android 1 firmware and for porting the Android 1 firmware for the Redmi Note 5 and I hope those developers will port the Android 1 firmware to the Redmi Note 5 Pro I will be making a video pretty soon so thank you guys for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to like subscribe and peace out